we continue our coverage of the Tijuana sewage crisis and how the news of the toxic particles found airborne in the South Bay is rippling throughout the community. Last week, scientists tested and found high levels of hydrogen sulfide in the South Bay. What we know causes that, that odor to smell along with the headaches, nausea, respiratory issues, and much more. One daycare that we met with told us the news was scary to hear, but it all adds up because they've had to run their program differently for the past few years so the children wouldn't get sick. ABC 10 News reporter Danny Miskell was at a daycare in Imperial Beach today. In our commitment to follow through, she met with the owner to hear how the toddlers are being affected. Remember coming here as a kid? The beach is one of the most favorite places for children to come and play at. I'm in Imperial Beach and about a three minute drive from here is a daycare. The woman that I spoke to has ran that daycare for about 20 years. And she tells me that she can't bring the kids to this beach anymore for field trips because of what they would smell and breathe in right here. The water quality has gotten so bad that I can't take the kids to the beach. Susan Wilson runs a daycare in the South Bay. She says she's had to stop taking the kids on field trips to Imperial Beach because of the water quality. And the surfers knew who they were. It was a really huge bonding piece of the community. It's been more than 1,000 days since the water's been closed due to sewage contamination. This month, researchers from UCSD discovered what they describe as high levels of hydrogen sulfide in the South Bay. That's a toxin commonly found in sewage. Wilson questions if that discovery helps explain some of the health issues she's seen in the kids at her daycare. It stays with them longer. It's hard to get rid of a cough. It's hard to get rid of a stuffy nose. They, they keep it for longer than they used to. This week, ABC 10 News spoke to a pediatrician at Kaiser Permanente who's been working in the South Bay for 15 years. If something's in the community, the kids are more sick in the South Bay. Dr. V Nguyen says she's seen a concerning number of children coming in with asthma. Yeah, definitely seen a lot of kids with asthma attacks, you know, and putting kids on controllers that live in the area. Wilson says instead of the beach, they'll visit parks, libraries, or play here in the backyard because the kids still need to get out of the house. It's gotten way worse and we're still paying taxes, we're still paying for sewer and trash, and it's not our sewer or our trash that we're living in. She hopes one day that she and the kids will be able to walk back across the sand. Would you say that you miss it? Yes. I would say the kids miss it too. In Imperial Beach, Danny Muskell, ABC 10 News.